First she lost her husband, and then she lost her house. KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi is live in Denison to tell us how a local woman is looking to rebuild after losing everything. Jace Brenda Whitaker has lived here for almost 30 years. First, she lost her husband in 2017. Now she's left picking up the pieces of what's left of her home. Caitlin Whitaker didn't anticipate her childhood home burning down when she got the call last week. When I got to the highway, that I don't know, she's probably about half a mile off of it. I could see the smoke and the fire trucks and everything. I was like. Uh, that's a lot of smoke billowing out. And I was like, this might be a little bit bigger deal than what I thought. The fire crews were there for more than 10 hours. Brenda Whitaker was inside at the time of the fire alone. Her husband, Randy, passed away almost two years ago from ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, an extremely rare degenerative disease he battled for five years. Because it was many nights where I didn't get sleep. And, um, and then I'd have to get up and go to work the next day. Her kids get emotional talking about it, too. A shower took three, four hours. I mean, it was not easy and she did it all by herself. She would not ask for help no matter what. Now they're just trying to get the same house back up on its feet. We do have one set amount from insurance. Even though the house is 100% totaled, we now have 25000 if not over $25,000 in extra expenses we were not planning on. I mean, you think you have everything figured out and then yeah, we started tearing into it, and it's just been kind of a downhill process. <laughs> so the first step is rebuilding. Then the next step is trying to figure out how the family will buy furniture. Live in Denison, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. All right, Kelly, thank you. A tough situation there. Prayers for them for sure.